I am going to have some fun today with acrylic backgrounds in this Delusions journal. I already drew and wrote in it a lot. So anyway, I'm just going to open up to a random page here. This one looks good and I'm going to start. I have my paints here. I have blue, orange, and white. Um, and I'm just going to start with some teal. My brush is already wet. Um, so I have a very wet brush right now. So you can see it kind of just, I can add more water. The water here so you guys can see. And I can just go like that. And I don't know what I'm doing, so this will be fun in that regard too. So I think I'm going to cover up all this. I'm not sure what I was writing about that thing anyway. Um, I like to just kind of put some paint on the paper. I don't really have a set rule about this. I'm going to dip this in the water now and get some of this white and sort of go like this. And that gives me kind of like a nice white stripe there. Um, and then clean that brush a little bit. I don't want my orange to be too mucky. And I'm just going to come in here, a little orange there. Bit of orange here. I could have put Desso over this, um, but I really didn't want to yet. So this is just me basically covering up what's already here. And then as my brush dries out, it gets a little more. So, I'm going to let that dry for a second. Um, fortunately today, it's really a nice dry day, so my paint might cooperate. I'm going to switch to the smaller brush, and then I'm going to kind of paint some circles up here to kind of act like a border. And I'm just, I'm not really letting this dry all the way, but it's not, it's not soaking wet either. So, draw some white circles. Not sure what these will be yet. But really, the key to making any art journal page, um, for me at least, is to have lots and lots of layers. And I also kind of do like a block technique where like I have different sections. Like you can see like this is a big white stripe. This is blue. These are my white polka dots here. So for me, I just kind of like to do different things and mix it up on the page. And over here, I think I might like a little more light. I kind of move all over the place when I'm painting. Some people are a little more organized than me. But I like to just get it everywhere. You can also change the way your brush is going so they can go up and down or you go sideways. And that will give you some different effects. You can even go back over what you just painted. Um, and so that's kind of fun. I feel like I need another color. I think I want like some yellow. I don't know why. I've been like loving this yellow, blue, like yellow, teal, and orange, red, orange combination lately. So I'm gonna get some yellow. I'm making a mess. And then I'm just gonna dip this in dry and see what happens here. Just gonna go around those. Some stripes. I don't want this one. Like that. 
There's, there's no wrong way to do this. As long as you don't mix your oranges with your blues, because that would give you like kind of like a mucky brown look. But okay, this looks like it needs a big circle here. And painting circles, I mean that's that's pretty easy. They don't have to be perfect circles. It just adds a little bit of texture, not texture so much, but just something, something to grab your attention. So, and then I like to do little like stripes or kind of more paint so like on the side of the page. There, you can see it definitely gets on the side of the page. So have fun with that. There's really no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing most of the time. I also have the bad habit of not knowing when to stop because I just like have so much fun doing this part that sometimes I don't really know where I'm gonna stop. So I'm gonna like that, maybe a little more white, a little more blue. So that's a very good start. Now, I might do a little orange here and a orange there. Just to give it a little more dynamics. There we go. So there is the beginning of our art journal page. Like I said, I don't know what this is going to be yet. I'm just kind of having fun drawing circles and painting. Do this. A little bit of white over that. Just to kind of give it more. A little more style. I think you can mix your colors too. Do you know where I'm at? Look at that. That's a nice orange. That was mixing the yellow with a little bit of the red orange and some white. I actually really like that. Okay. So that's one background. I may actually come back to this later. Sometimes when I'm painting, like I just like to paint. And then later when I'm bored or you know, maybe I don't have a lot of time, then I can come in and doodle, draw, collage, whatever. So let's go to the next page. This one, um, actually I had some paint left over on my brush so I already kind of scribbled all over it. So this I'm just going to do some more white acrylic paint over these layers that are already here and they're dry also. Um, and I'm just going to do something real simple. I'm going to go up and down, up and down. So I'm going to do that with the white and then I'm going to come over here and do that too. So up, probably we can't see it that well. I'm going to go up and down, up and down, big long strokes, up and down, up and down. And now I'm going to come over with our blue, and I'm going to do the same thing, up and down, up and down. And it kind of gives you like this neat effect. You can see now that I've added the blue where it's mixing in with the white. Up and down, up and down. Got something goofy. So why we have our scratch paper. This will be fun for a collage later. Anyway, um, so let me get some more orange in here. I kind of want some pink. 
or something of that vein. I'm gonna use my magenta liquid text. I only use a tiny bit of it. It goes so far. So I'm gonna come in here. Ah, yes, that's nice. And so I go up and down, up and down. And add a little water here. Because the Liquitexes, they're really nice and vivid. You can, they, they're a little faded if you water them down. But they have so much pigment in them. They are just gorgeous all the time. So that's nice. So that's just like basic stripes. Really, up and down. I'm going to come in with some white. Go back up and down, up and down. Make it a bigger brush. Hold on. still has orange on it. That's all right. Up and down, up and down. And what it does, I dry it out. There we go. What it does is it just adds like that, that interesting like brush texture here. I think it is just fun to try and experiment with. Then, once we have that, this is mostly dry already, so it's not. So that's kind of neat. So, so then another thing you can do if you want, which would be exciting, is use a little gesso. Oh, I just got gesso on my books. So just use your your journal as like a napkin. We don't need to waste paper towels here. Alright, so I'm just gonna put like a tiny bit. This stuff comes out fast. Um, so gesso is really like a paint primer and it's gonna kind of cover up more so what's here. So I can say like it really covers things up more so than the white paint does. Um, but something that's fun to do with gesso is to make like texture with it. So. I'm gonna actually kind of just smash my brush like this and see what happens. You know, I never really know what's gonna happen when I do this. But so that is kind of cool. Give it some texture. Also go like this with the back of your paintbrush. Um, you could do that with probably plain acrylic paint. It's just Gesso is a little bit thicker, so that's fun. And now I'm out of gesso, so let's add some more pink because I like the pink. I'm just gonna do my circles again. I feel like you really can't go wrong with circles, you know. You also really can't go wrong with like a big stripe. <laughs> like a piece of scrap paper. It's already paint on it. But I'm just gonna go like this. And it's gonna make stripes for me that are kind of more sh masked. So that's fun. And then I'm gonna bring in a little bit of this yellow here. So let's go. Really, I see it double, double duty here because now I made a little thing on this back too. And then I kind of like to do a symmetry, symmetry, symmetrical things. So like if something's on one side, I kind of like it to sort of incorporate. Usually like I'll go crossways or something that just brings your eye back over here. So I'm just going to do that little yellow line there and maybe a little bit down here. And I just think you could do a lot with nothing more than a paintbrush. So I think that's really what this purpose of this video is, is to show you how much you can just do with a paintbrush. Do a little, a little more sideways here. See, look at that neat texture. So if you go, I kind of just like to do whatever. 
So that's a pretty cool art journal background. And then we can collage over it. We can write in it. I could paint over it again later. So anyway, um, this is all dry now. Put my hands over it. Um, so I like that. Again, there's a lot we could do with this one. And something else that I like to do is literally get out the phone and take a picture of it, just like now. Because guess what? If I like this and I don't like it again later, like say I do something to it and I'm like, oh man, why did I do that? Um, I can always print out a page again. Now I can go over this and I know I got a picture of it and I can print that out if I want to kind of play around with this particular background some more later. So again, I'm gonna keep on flipping here because like I said, I'm in the mood to paint today. So I kind of just wanna paint it all out. This one looks like I was calculating something. I don't know what this was. Looks like lots of math. Maybe I was doing the kids' math homework. But I'm just, again, covering it up. Um, I'm just also using up this orange paint that's here. And I know orange is it's bright. So, I have some fun with some pink. And now I'm gonna show kind of another fun idea. So if we take pink, and I'm just gonna put a little bit there. in a drawer. I have my old credit cards that I don't use anymore. And I'm just going to go like this. Yeah. If you ever want to wipe out debt, just start using your credit cards for paint. It's so much more fun. And so that's fun. I'm going to use more white, I think. Actually, you can also do this with gesso, which is fun to do. So I'm going to kind of Smash it down, especially because I don't even know what these numbers are here. I don't know if it's web homework or trying to do my accounting. But so I'm just gonna kind of spread that on with my credit card. And that just gives it like a kind of a slick effect, you know? And if you go back over it, it's gonna take more paint off. You can actually scrape it all off and then scrape it back down, but it does mix it, so. Keep that in mind when you do that. Oh. So, now, anything that I put on top of this right now, because it's very wet and very thick, is just gonna blend. So I could keep blending, or I could just, you know, kind of leave it as it is. You could do stripes, again, because you could do the texture with this. This is not completely dry, but it's dry enough. So, um, yeah, see, not completely dry, but dry enough. Again, this is why we have to keep paper. You can use that later. Now, I wanted to share a little bit about the difference between um, basically zinc white and titanium white. Zinc white and titanium white. So, there is a difference, and half the time I can't remember which one is which, but I will show you here. So I'm gonna put the Soft Body Liquitex Titanium White and the Golden Zinc White on this side. Now this is the Fluid Acrylics for Golden, so it's definitely, definitely a little more fluidy. But, let's see where my credit card go. Uh-oh. Oh, right here. There. So I'm gonna show you. If you put that this fluid acrylic zinc white, you can barely see it. Now I might have used too much paint. Tisk tisk, here's some fun. using credit card. Oh. But see now now I'm gonna go over with this. 
soft body white. And you can see you can get a good texture with it, just that if you really want. Just pushing it down. Very therapeutic when you're done using credit cards and then you literally use the credit card to make art. It's pretty cool. So, and then I'm just gonna kind of get some more over here. And then, I don't know, I like all of it. I might want to get part of the, I don't necessarily need that way. But see, this is just fun to get like some texture out of, you know? You kind of get like these backwards numbers stamped into it too, which is kind of cool, um, you know. So this is a good way to use your credit cards. So that was fun. Now I'm gonna dry this real quick because there's a lot of texture here, and I don't want it to get like muddied. Okay, so this one's not ready to really do anything with yet. Uh, it's still a little bit wet, but I'm going to keep painting. So, Alright, this is one of those, uh, I don't know, like a craft thing? I remember my grandmother always made crafts with these things. You like sew yarn in it, but it's kind of fun to put the paint on one side. And I'm using the, uh, the cheap Walmart paint because it's thick. And it makes cool little textures like that. So you can do it any way you want, but I think it's just kind of fun to do. Um, I don't know where you can even buy these. I, I guess most craft stores still sell them. Um, gives it that that grid texture. That's a lot of fun. You could do this with gesso. You could do this with like a thick bodied white paint. So that gives us that really cool kind of like checkered texture there. Look inside. So that's fun. Um, so I got a big puddle of paint here, and I don't want to just leave that. So I'm gonna kind of over actually come over here because there's like no paint on the paper here. So I'm just gonna kind of go like this. But I want to be careful I don't mess up my texture too much. And then I can always put this though back. Say I go over here on my scratch paper that's here. I can do this. Add some water. Let's see what happens. See? Well, that's pretty neat. So I was just having fun with it, you know, there's really wrong way. You can, anything you have at your house that has an interesting texture. So anyway, I'm pretty happy with this as a background. Like, it just, it has a lot of texture. It has some interesting things. So, that was three backgrounds in one day. And like I said, we can photograph them. We can paint these over and over and over again. So we should not be afraid to paint on the originals um, because it's fun. But yeah, that is a short, quick video of three art journal backgrounds that we made with pretty much just a paintbrush. So we made one that has like very specific shapes. We have one that has lots of circles, mostly. This one was more stripes with a couple of circles and we did some texture, we did some masking. And then in this one, we did a little stamping, scraping, and stenciling. But we didn't use stencils, we used this. 
So, all right. So those are our three page backgrounds. I'm also gonna scan all of these and you can download them to make your own art with if you want. So, all right. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.